Hi, this is Munson from Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you could play a song called Seven Days in Sunny June by Jamiroquai. And it's going to start on a D major 7 chord. And the way you play D major 7, actually, we're just going to take the first finger and put them over the top three strings on the second fret. So we're just doing high E on the second, and then B string on the second, and then G string on the second. And then we're just going to strum just the top four strings to get the clearest sound out of that. And that's called D major 7. And actually in the song what happens is we're going to end up doing a down on that D major 7 and then doing a second finger hammer on on the B string. So we're going to do a down on D major 7 and then kind of hammer on into that. So we're going to do down, hammer on, and then we're going to do a two ups after that. Up, up. So we're going to do D major 7, hammer on to D, up, up. And then we're going to be going to an F sharp minor. And the way you play F sharp minor, first finger is going to go to second fret and do the, the bar over the, the entire second fret. And then third finger is going to go to the A string on the fourth fret. Piggy is going to go to the D string on the fourth fret. And if you strum all those together, that makes an F sharp minor. It sounds really, really sad. And on the F sharp minor, we're going to do a down and then an up, down, down. So we got D major 7 with a down, hammer on, up, up, F sharp minor with a down. Major seven with a down, hammer on, up, up, F sharp minor with a down, up, down, down. And then from there we're gonna be going to a C major chord. And the way you play C major, first finger is gonna go B string on the first fret, second finger is gonna go to the D on the second fret, and third finger is gonna go to the A string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, <clears throat> that makes a C major chord and it sounds really, really happy. And on the C major, we're gonna kind of do what we did on the D major seven, but without the hammer on. We're just gonna do a down, up. And then we're going to take that shape of the C major and slide it over two frets. And then uh, that's basically called a, a D major 11 is what we could call that. But it's basically just a, a moving shape idea. But we're going to call that D add 4 for lack of, of, of uh, other things to call it. Because you're playing the root of the chord, the third of the chord, and then we're playing the fourth of the chord, and we're playing the root of the chord, and we're playing a non of the chord. So there are a lot of things that we could call that, but we're going to call it D add 4. And on the D add 4, we're going to do a down, up, and then do the down, down. So we got C major with a down, up, up, D add 4 with a down, up, down, down. And then from the D add 4, we're going to be going to a really interesting A major 7 chord. And it looks like an A minor chord, if you know an A minor chord, but, but shifted up to 5th to and 6th fret. But basically, we're going to play this. We're going to put first finger on the B string on the 5th fret. Second finger on the D on the 6th fret, and third finger on the G string on the 6th fret. And if you strum all those together, that makes an A major 7 chord. It sounds really, really happy. And on the A major 7, we're going to do a down, up, up. And then go back to the D add 4 and do a down, up, down, down. So we got A major 7 with a down, up, up, D add 4 with a down. And that's our intro, but it's also our chorus part. So just to walk through that whole part, we got the D major 7 with the hammer on, D up, up, F sharp minor with the down, up, down, down, D major 7 with the down, hammer on, up, up, F sharp minor with the down, up, down, down, C major with the down, up, up, D add 4 with the down, up, down, down, A major 7 with the down, up, up, D add 4 with a down, up, down, down. So, and then we kind of start that over again. So we got D major 7 with a D, or hammer on, up, up, F sharp minor with a down, up, down, down. D major 7 with a down, hammer on, up, up, F sharp minor, down, up, down, down. C major with a down, up, up, D add 4 down, up, down, down. A major 7 down, up, up, D add 4 down. And then from there, we're going to be going to our verse part. And our verse part starts on an A minor. So it's a very similar shape to the A major 7 we were just doing. But the way you play A minor is we're going to put first finger on the B string on the first fret, second finger on the D on the second fret, and the third finger on the G string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, it makes an A minor chord and it sounds really, really sad. And then from the A minor, we're going to be going to an, the F sharp minor again. 
but then we go to a D minor chord, and the way you play D minor, first finger is going to go to the high on the first fret, second finger is going to go to the G on the second fret, and the third finger is going to go to the B string on the third fret, and if you strum just the top four strings, that'll give you your clearest sound with that, and that's called D minor, it sounds really, really sad. And then from D minor, we're going to be going to a G major chord. And when we play G major, first finger is going to go to the A string on the on the second fret, second finger on the low E on the third fret, and the third finger is going to go to the high E on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that makes a G major chord, and that sounds really, really happy. And through this part, we're going to actually be using a very similar strum pattern, but just to talk about what that's relating to for, for, for a minute, um, we're, we're basically working off of something called 16th notes, where if you're tapping your foot tap, and if you divided that into four parts, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. that's called a sixteenth note. And what we're doing on the very first beat, and actually if we just took the A minor just to try this, is we're going to go in a down on one and an up on four. So we're kind of going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Second beat, we're doing an up on two and a down on three. So we're going one, two, three, four, one up, down, one up, down, one up, down, one up, down, one up, down. And then on the third beat, we're doing an up on two and an up on four. So we're going one up. together, then we got a down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. So we try that through our verse, then we got A minor with a down, up, up, down. part where we got the D major seven up down up up F sharp minor down up up down D minor B major seven D F sharp minor C down up up the F four down down up down A major seven down up up the F four up down up down so I'm kind of taking the strum pattern that we just did and kind of superimposing it on that pattern right so we got And then basically from there we're just, we're just repeating the, those parts that, that we just talked about. So then we're going back to our verse part where we got the down, up, up, down, up, up, down, 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 up, superimpose that strum pattern into that. So you got the D major 7 with the hammer on down, up, up, and then the F sharp minor down, up, up, down, up, down, up, D major 7 with the down, hammer on, up, up, F sharp minor down, up, up, down, up, down, C with the down, up, up, D F four down, up, up, down, up, down, A major 7 down, up, up, D F four, up, up, down, up, down, up, D major 7 hammer on, up, up, F sharp minor, up, up, down, up, down, D major 7 hammer on, up, up, F sharp minor, up, up, down, up, Down, up, up, down, 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 up, down
but they're really kind of blocking chords from the verse. So we, we just got kind of a down on A minor, down on F sharp minor, and then down on D minor for our bridge. And then we're back to our chorus intro part. So we got the D hammer on up, up F sharp minor, Some with the hammer on the F sharp minor. And you do that twice. D hammer on up, up, F sharp minor, up, up, down, up, down, up. And then at the very end, they end on an F major chord. And the way you play F major, first finger is going to do a first finger or first fret bar. Two is going to go on the G string on the second fret. Third finger on the A on the third fret. And the pinky is going to go to the D on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that makes an F major chord and it sounds really, really happy. So that, that's kind of our last part is where we got the D hammer on up, that's our minor. D hammer on up, up, that's our minor. F major. At the very, very end. But that's the basis of how you can play Seven Days in Sunny June by Jamiroquois. So good luck!